I, I'm not sure if Tommy forgot to bring home the worksheet. Um, I did pass it out on Friday. I can't remember if he was there or not, but to access the packet that goes with the sled wars, you click on to classes, go to my science class, stream, remember it's just for the question of the day, under classwork, you would go to remote learning and open up that website that we had gone to earlier. On the website, all of the work has been posted. You would go to assigned work slash due dates. And the gizmos was assigned for March 26th and March 27th. So once it uploads, once you hover over it, a little gray box will appear. And you click on it, the document comes up. And all the questions that he would need to answer are here. In order to get to Gizmos, if he doesn't remember, if you type in Gizmos, and this Explore Learning Gizmos Math and Science Simulation is what he would open. We have already done several of them, so his login should automatically be saved. It's something we've been doing for the last three years. Um, so he would go to this little person here. Login should already be there. He would just log in. And the sled wars is right here. And then he would just follow the directions after his view might be a little different because I have the teacher view. So he would launch the gizmos and then he would just follow the directions step by step of what the sled wars asks him to do. In addition to that, you asked about the video explanations. If you click on video explanation in that website that we just went to and you scroll down the Crash scene investigation was day three. It says right here, Ed Head's crash scene investigation. If you hit play, it brings you right to the YouTube website. So I'm gonna hit pause. Um, it does say to start at 10 minutes and 50 seconds because I had to allow people to join. So you could just scroll over to 10 minutes and 50 seconds. And then when you hit play, Okay, so before you do anything, you would be able to follow to along with right, what okay. we did for the Zoom conference. I'm just going to hit stop so it's not talking over me. You could do the same thing for the sled wars. You have all the videos of what I have um, been teaching in class and outside of class. The sled wars use kinetic energy and gravitational potential energy, but just to make sure. He understands it. I would recommend watching these videos again. Momentum, that was part of our speedboat um, challenge that we did right before we left class. But again, he can, should watch this video to help him. The net force video will help along with the pictures. And then he can check his math work on any of these videos. These are all also posted on YouTube. Oh, hi guys. And you just and click on it and follow along. Right now, so the one Okay, so again, if you have any questions, please ask me. Thank you.